Hello guys, it's Nabil here. In this video, I will show you how you can install Checkrain Windows Jailbreak on iOS 14.5 and up running devices. As you know that iOS 14.5.1 was released a few days ago. The Checkrain version 0.12.2 wasn't supporting the iOS 14.5 and up. So the Checkrain team has also updated their application. If I go to the Checkrain Jailbreak official website, before I go there, this video is sponsored by Wootaki Eye Solver, which is your solution for bypass iCloud activation lock screen, remove screen lock and bypass activation, and turn off FMI. If I go to the iCloud activation lock section, here these are the following issues you can solve with this. If I go to the remove screen lock and bypass activation, in case your device fall into these conditions, you will be able to solve those. If I go to the turn off FMI option, from here you will be able to solve these issues. For more information, I will put a link below in the description. They also have a trial version, you can download that as well. They have clearly stated check range jailbreak sports iPhone 5s till the iPhone X and it sports iOS firmwares from iOS 12 to the latest iOS firmware which is currently iOS 14.5.1 If I scroll down here you can see the latest version is Checkrain 0.12.4 it is just released a few days ago below you can see the bug fixes it comes with the hotfix for A9X devices which could not boot on iOS 14.5 with 0.12.3 that problem is fixed in this latest update. Apart from that, package dependency issues on the dev repo is also fixed. You can read all the details. I will put the link in this video description. If I click on the see all releases, it will take me to the page from where I can download the check range jailbreak. As you can see, the official check range jailbreak is only supported for macOS and Linux versions. This video is about checkrain windows jailbreak for iOS 14.5 and up. Therefore, we will have to use another method. Thanks to the Just Attack YouTube channel for making this possible for us. To jailbreak with checkrain windows jailbreak, you do not need to download anything from this checkrain official website. All you need to do is go to this link. You will find this in this video's description. Click on that, then click on the skip button. It will take to you to the Mediafire website. From here you can download the Checkrain Windows Jailbreak. This is a complete Checkrain Windows Jailbreak package that includes Checkrain Windows Jailbreak ISO image file as well as the Rufus tool to make this ISO file bootable so you can boot from that USB to install Checkrain Windows Jailbreak in your iPhone or iPad. Click on the blue button and the Checkrain package for Windows Jailbreak will start downloading. I already have downloaded all the required files, so I do not need to download it again. Here is my folder with all the required files. Just double click on the Rufus tool to make your USB bootable. Once it is open, now you need to attach an empty USB. Attach it with your computer and Rufus tool will recognize your USB. As you can see here, it just got my USB there. Click on the select button and select the Checkrain Windows Jailbreak ISO file. After you have select the ISO file, then you do not need to change anything else. Just click on the start button. The process to make Checkrain Windows Jailbreak bootable USB will start. It won't take too long. Hello guys, if you have made this far in this video and you are enjoying this video, hit the like button, also the subscribe button for more iOS related videos. As you can see, the bootable process is done. Now just close the Rufus tool, then go to the start button, click here, click on the power button, then click on the restart. Before you click on the restart button, you must know the functional key for your computer to enter into the boot manager settings. For my computer, I need to press the F2 key to enter in the boot menu. If you do not know what keys are used for your system, you can either google it or you can try with F2 key, F9 key, F10 or F11 keys. Once your system restarts, 
you have to enter into the BIOS settings so that we can set the attached USB as a priority device to boot from for our system. Now I am pressing the F2 key, it's stating please wait. Now it's entering into the BIOS setting. As you can see I am into the BIOS settings now. You can use the arrows key to navigate to the boot menu. It's here. On my system, you can see my attached USB named SanDisk is at the first place. Now remember that if you want to boot your system from the attached USB, you have to place that USB at the top spot here. You can use the shortcut keys mentioned below in the screen to move the attached USB at the first place if it isn't there. As my settings are already there, I do not need to change anything. Just navigate to the exit tab, select the first option, exit saving changes, press the enter button, again press the enter button. Your computer now will restart and boot from the attached USB. As you can see, the files are being loaded. Just wait a few seconds and you will see check and windows jailbreak on your computer screen. As you can see, Checkrain Jailbreak Utility is pop up on my computer screen. As you can see, it's the latest Checkrain Jailbreak 0.12.4. Now you need to attach your device with the computer on which you want to install the Checkrain Windows Jailbreak. Once you attach your device with the computer, it will recognize your device at the top. As you can see, I just attached my device and it immediately recognized it iPhone 7 running on iOS 14.5 Now here is the important thing you need to keep in your mind guys As you can see I am using the iPhone 7 and it's running on iOS 14.5 In case you are watching this video later when you are on iOS 14.5.1 or higher or in case you are currently using any other device that is with the A11 chip here are the important options you need to select before you start jailbreaking your device. Just go to the options page from here. Now as I mentioned earlier, if you are on a higher iOS version than iOS 14.5, you need to check the first option allow untested versions. Apart from that, if you are using a 11 device, first you need to disable all the security checks on your device. Disable passcode or touch ID. After that, you need to check this skip A11 BRP check option. Now also keep in your mind, when you enable this option, before jailbreaking your device, you need to disable all the security checks on your device as I mentioned. That could be passcode or touch ID or face ID. Disable them and check this option. And once you are jailbroken, you will not be able to set any passcode or touch ID on your device. This is the case with the A11 chip devices. Once you have selected all the required options, then come back to the main check and jailbreak screen from this back button. Hit the start button and your device will start entering into the recovery mode. After it enters into the recovery mode, then you will need to put your device into the DFU mode. As you can see, my device is now in the recovery mode. Now just hit the next button on your computer screen. All the steps to put your device into the DFU mode will be present on your computer screen. You need to follow the DFU mode steps as quickly as you hit the start button. Let me just click on the start button. For my device, I need to just press the power and volume down button simultaneously first. Then I will leave the power button after 4 seconds and keep holding the volume down button. My device will enter into the DFU mode. You will see all the progress on your computer screen as well as on your device's screen. As it's stating booting now, my device will boot and you will see all the progress on your device's screen. Once the process is done, you will see all done on your computer screen on the Checkrain Jailbreak app. As you can see at the back, Checkrain Windows Jailbreak is successfully installed on my device and my device is boot up as well. 
if i go to the home screen remember that checked and jailbreak app takes just a little while like 5 to 6 seconds to show up on your device's home screen so do not panic if you don't see right after when you go to the home screen as you can see check and jailbreak is showing on my device open the app tap on the cdia then tap on the install button the cdia will start installing on your device now it's downloading the base system after that it will install the cdia as you can see guys cdia is successfully installed on my device open the cdia and go to the sources now it's recommended that before you do anything on your cdia you first upgrade the essential packages go to the sources there you will see a pop up stating essential upgrade tap on the upgrade essentials all the essentials will be upgraded on your device now just tap on the return to cdia go to the search section and from there you can search any tweaks you want i will also put a link in this video's description from where you can get 100 plus cdia tweaks to install on your device this is how you can install checkrain windows jailbreak on ios 14.5 and up running devices with the checkrain version 0.12.4 If you have enjoyed this video guys hit the like button also the subscribe button for more iOS related videos